so i hope you guys are doing well and so today's topic is case id format so i was going through some of the comments and i saw people were asking that where is the other rest of the videos for like csa course okay so if you browse my pick up beginners playlist you'll find most of the videos okay and if you like watch all videos definitely you'll be able to complete that csa course okay if you compare with the pdn and let me know if you're missing something okay i can cover up okay but like uh, on a high level i'm uh, like i have covered most of them and i'm also comparing and then creating videos on the left out topics okay so this one was left out the case id prefix and this is very much important because uh, in most of the applications you won't find the the case id prefix which generally after the case like the applications creations or the case creations what whatever pega generates we don't use it okay so you must have seen in your application so let's see if you have newly joined your team or if not then you'll get a requirement that case id should be in a particular format okay i'll just give an example also that when we raise some issue right when we raise some issue uh in any any banks or anywhere or we raise a complaint we receive an email and in that email we find a reference id so that reference id or they say that this is your reference id for your case so what reference id how they generates okay so based on our the business like what kind of a business like for what kind of a complaint we are doing based on that they have some one or two text on that one then sometimes we find that date as well okay and then the finally the number okay so similarly we generates in pega also okay but uh, but i'll explain you that how it works okay and um, how it works or how we can change that basically we'll learn how we can change it okay so what happens okay so when we create a case then we always see that pega generates 1 2 3 4 okay so pega has activity that generate id so generate id is activity which is responsible to generate the next id okay so how it happens is pega uses that a uh, database okay and then from database it finds that what is that next uh, what is the next id i have to generate okay so that is how it, it done it, it, pega does it there are some changes also from 8.3 but uh, i think for now you can ignore the that changes or if you want you can read it here that how pega have changed that approach the way they were generating the ids to make the performance better but let's today today we'll focus on that how we can add the prefix and suffix okay uh, so let's let's go ahead so i have so in last class also we saw that expense management so in expense management i have created it a sample applications okay so once you create a sample applications and after that what we do we usually create a uh, sample case type after sample creating a sample case type what we do we simply go and create the case okay and then we notice that some uh, some id we are seeing that you can see that e1 we are seeing here okay or maybe you will see after logging and log off you will see e1000 okay and then e sometimes you will see e2000 so okay because in the newer approach pega is using a node based approach to generate that id okay and then in that way like pega has a batch size of 1000 so for now but you can ignore it okay or if if you are facing that kind of a issue then this is the dss which you can simply go and put that one okay then it will get disable and it will work like the previous way so or you can read this article as well but let's understand that okay that how pega add this e things okay so from where this e comes the, this one we can understand that one and if i'll create a next case okay we will be getting e2 but the uh, e2 but the question is from where this e is coming okay so we didn't like so we didn't focus much or we i don't know if you have noticed or not so you'll notice that moment we create a case type any case type from here pega will add that case type in here in cases okay case types in in our application so let me close that application and show you from where we can open that so what we have to do we have to go to our applications and click on definitions once you go in definitions we need to click on cases and data so whatever the case type will create it will pega will automatically add that your class name and then uh, the name okay whatever the name will give here okay the same name and the same will display here create and then the prefix if we uncheck this options okay then we will not see here in create we can see that okay if i uncheck this one and save it that options will go away so see we cannot create case no case type is defined so that is how we can control okay that that uh, like if let's say if you are in in your applications you are creating a five cases okay in that one five case one is child case child case means 
that one that case child case will be created from another case type okay so in that in that kind of a scenario we disable that okay and in some other classes we can see that even if i have enabled this one in security class we'll see that okay that if i have even if I, if I have enabled this one okay i want that a set of group only can create a case and set of group cannot create okay so that we can uh, uh, see in security class okay but for now you can understand that let's say i have another case another case type another case in that case one three is like i can create directly and two of them is a child case which i'll be creating by submitting any action so in that case we can uncheck that one so that the child case cannot be created directly okay so now the preference okay so now let's come to the work id prefix or let me add one another case type so in expenses there right so i can just simply say mm, let's say report something like that i'll just create let me add it so what we'll do whenever we do it from here add case type they will automatically add that to uh, our case uh, application so let's see that so we created that let's refresh our applications and let's see that so you can see that report came in add a scheme so what happens pega adds that the first letter from that one from our the name okay and then hyphen so this is how it does now let's save it okay and create report so you can see that now the report also came here in new now i can i can go ahead and create the report so if i'll create we can see that r1 see see r r129 so that is where i was saying the problem is that the pega is taking that bad size but you can see that r129 is there because like this is a, uh, uh, in some other nodes because we are using the default batch size is thousands okay so that is where that problem is happening so maybe i'll go ahead and disable this one so i'll set one so let's see if this is working because this is a multi-node system but don't focus on that one if i'll create now then it will say r130 see r130 if i'll go ahead and create and again it will be r131 so the question is from where this r dash is coming so the r dash is coming from that here the prefix okay this one now how we can override it okay let's let's think that how i want to make this one okay for expense okay i i want to make something like that let me put somewhere okay where i can do that let me see put here so i let's see that i want to make that like expense and then i want to add date as well okay so today's date is 23 and then month is 08 and then year 2022 like this okay and then uh, the, the, the first case will be this and the second case i want this like this so how we can do that okay so basically we we are going to add a prefix okay so prefix is we are going to add e expense or we can just say e also okay e so that in so that when like let's say when you are calling and and saying this case id then they will easily with the case id only they can recognize that for what case for what date you have created this case okay so this is where we add that date okay it all depends on your business scenario okay but the main agenda is how we change this one so let's learn that so for that one what we have to do okay the first things which we have to do is that we have to remove it from here because the preference even if i will go and change in the code and if i do not remove from here the preference is highest higher of this one okay and it will always take this one so i'll show you so where we can set is to we to set this one we need to create a py def, like we, we usually do in py default data transform okay so uh, let's rephrase this one and so now we have a two expense and report so for expense we, we want to do that okay so first things which we have to do is if we if you already have a py default data transform fine if you do not have you need to create that so i'll create default data transform so i'll say py default py default now i'm creating an expense class okay done now which property so we need to set that prefix and suffix okay so for that pega have already given a two property so the property name is py work id prefix py work id prefix so sometimes if you are a csa so pega sometimes this questions comes in your exam also that in which property we have to set okay so we have a prefix and suffix see here so suffix we won't touch here for now let's say i'll just touch that suffix uh, sorry prefix suffix i'll not do anything so here i'm saying instead of e dash just take exp1 
exp1 and hyphen sorry exp and hyphen so let's see if this is taking or not okay because here you can see that we have e dash now we have set like we created a py default data transform and we are setting py id prefix okay exp1 so let's create that case expense report and see so you can see that still it is taking e dash why because we have not removed from here okay and the preference of this one is high so to make that the code work we need to remove from here so let's save it and now let's go ahead and create a case so it's taking exp so you got it now exp is taking and you can see that the bad side bad size i was talking that this is one so whenever we are changing and starting creating from the fresh okay then it's a taking from uh, that 110 uh, uh, like from thousands and then it's start adding now if i'll create it will take 1002 so see but for now you can ignore just learn that how we are adding this one okay so we added that expense report just take and now think that if i have to add that date also in my prefix how we can do it so let's go here and here we can say that now we have to add data also so to add the date what we can do we can go to functions builder and we want to take that current date okay because this case id will start each day uh, with the zero okay with the date current date see oh, why it's not coming so let me do that later write it the function so we need to write current date and then it takes two parameter one is the format so i can give dd m um, mm yy and then it takes the tangent so i can give um, uh, iphone okay and then again i'll plus we have to give hyphen so let me show you the complete code okay so you can see that the the exp and then we are adding current date and then ddmmy in this format so it all depends on your requirements okay so whatever the format you want so let's create a case now and let's see so see now again that um things is that exp and then date is it's taking 24 uh, i'll check that why it's taking 24 maybe because of the time zone okay 24 and then 08 and 22 you can see that right so this is how we can do that okay if you want to add something in in suffix we can do that as well so let's say i'll just add suffix abc let me create a case now again so it's taking 24 and then it's coming abc so you can see that so this is the two important property property sorry this is the two important property which you should know okay and in this one only we have to do there is one more requirement which comes or you'll see in your applications that that here it's we are generating like um from like thousand or uh, 2000 something like that so many of the times you can see that the number is coming variable okay but sometimes the requirement comes that okay i know that um, i can create a five digit cases in a day in a single day how many cases we can create okay because we are adding a date also in prefix so that means each day this date will change and our case id will change okay so let's say five digit number so uh, we can assume that uh, my case id can go till five digit in a single day so in that case what people does is they'll create the case id in this format they'll do in this format so let's say this one i'll copy this one and they will create a, this case this one and then they'll put one two three four one two three four and then one then next case will be two next case will be three uh, next case will be three and, and so on for that 22 days let's say that if date will change okay then case id will will change so let's say for 24 okay so this will change so 24 and then again it will start from one so this we decide like it all depends on the business okay and this we decided um, how many cases we can create in a day that format but if you leave it okay then it will follow this one so it will simply keep on creating one two three four till whatever the cases you want so now to do that so basically here we are adding a suffix suffix of zero okay let's say you want to fix that after hyphen you need five digit okay so 
then this will be one let's say that if this will keep continuing and we'll move to 10 then it will be like this if we move it to 99 then it will be sorry 999 then it will be like this so so what basically we have to do we have to loop and check that how what is our the value from the database and then we have to add that much suffix okay so to do that where we have to do so as i mentioned in the beginning that this is that this is the activity which is responsible to generate that suffix like the value after hyphen okay so here you can see that the suffix so this is the this is the next id it will give one or two one two three four okay so if you want to add put that much zeros we need to change the code here okay so you can try in java basically we have to simply in next id we have to loop and add that value so next id let's say if it is returning one then you have to add a uh, four zeros okay if it is returning 99 then you have to return uh, like a three zero uh, you have to add uh, append uh, three zero okay so something like that so we, you can try in java if if you won't be able to do it let me know i can help that so you got it right so let's let's recap what we saw that whenever we are creating any new case type pega will automatically add that in uh, applications in cases and data tab and then it will also add a default prefix okay so the default prefix how pega adds it just it takes the first word of that name okay case type name and then hyphen okay but if you want to overwrite first we have to remove it okay first we have to remove it and then we have to save uh, like then what we have to do we have to create a data transform or if we have already the data transform needs py default so we have to always set this value in py default data transform if we do in any other data transform it might not help the reason is that py default data transforms gets calls when the case will gets created okay so that is where uh, we have to set in this data transform only okay or or you can set in any data transform which it gets called from this data transform only so basically th that has to be there in this data transform or any other transform which is gets called from here okay so and then we have to set the prefix and the suffix so whatever you want to set that you can set in this property and it will pega will automatically take while case creations and you have to do this for each case type okay because let's say for that re uh, expense you have set exp okay but for report you want to say rpt so in that case you need to set you need to save as this one okay so the format will be same just you need to update that the first letter or the three letter or two letter whatever you want okay so let's say i'll save as this one in report also and i'll show you so i'll just save as in report and here instead of exp i'll just say rpt okay so now still i have not removed here so if i'll create now okay so now i hope you'll get it that you will get r dash okay because we have not removed it okay so here the prefix suffix will come because here we are just setting the prefix but so prefix is still coming that r dash now if you want to um, bring that rpt as a uh, prefix we need to remove this one from here so now i'll remove and save it and create a case so now i should see we should see rpt so rpt and then date and then hyphen one abc so this 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 is the no meaning of abc but i just showed you that this is how we can do that okay or we can do it like this so basically i was uh, uh, is explaining this example that let's say we have a four zeros now i'll create a case rpt so you can see that oh, one second it looks like it didn't got saved oh i, I saved it in expense one so let me create expense so you can see that right so it got added but we want we don't want like this the case id is like a 3000 so that is where we have to add before okay so this this adding doing it here it won't help so we have to do in java and we have to check okay and we have to add that this next id in the last and before that we have to append that value three digit or four digit whatever you want so you can try that one and let me know so that's it for that's it for today's sessions the sessions was a quick on a case id prefix let me know if this topic will help and, and definitely you try in your applications by removing the case id prefix okay okay so that's it for today's sessions this was your quick sessions and i hope this will help you so please try and let me know okay and and please do subscribe if you're liking my content okay so that is also very important okay i, I know you guys are learning but like subscribing the channel and the channel views is also important so please do that Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.